The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have covered eight out of nine road games in the regular season. They will be on the road getting six and a half points against the Detroit Lions. I am Andy Lang from wagertalk.com. We're going to break down the Buccaneers coming off of a big dominant win against the Eagles, taking on the Lions who snuck out a win against the Rams. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys, please. It really helps the algorithm out. Let's wager talk. know I'm doing a good job here. And leave me a comment. Tell me what your best bet is for this game. I have a pretty strong opinion on the side here. Not a real strong opinion on the total here. And if we look at the wager talk live odds screen, we're looking at the total sitting around 48 and a half. The spread is pretty interesting. I see a few books at six. Most of them are at six and a half and circa I see at seven. So line shop big time. I even see one book at five and a half. So a lot, a lot of big variation in the line. So check your books. Make sure you're getting the best of the number. I have a strong opinion on that one. Uh, let's start breaking down this game. So the Detroit Lions, uh, their defense gave up a lot of yards last week against the Rams, but they got good when they got within field goal range. They didn't allow touchdowns. They allowed field goals, and that allowed them to get a win, 24-23. I thought it was a, a great game. I thought both teams played really, really good, and credit to the Lions. That was a tough opponent that they took out. Not a lot of teams wanted to see the Los Angeles Rams. Flip it around, the Buccaneers got a, a cakewalk against the Eagles, who had obviously kind of thrown in the towel on the season here. So when we look at the Buccaneers, very interesting. I mentioned their really good road uh, ATS record. A lot of that, I think, had to do with expectations at the beginning of the year. That's the Buccaneers team that everyone was down on. I mean, you start going through their road games, uh, three-point win against Minnesota, big-time win against New Orleans. They have an early bye week. Uh, they lose to Buffalo and Houston and San Francisco and Indianapolis. So four road losses in a row. Then they close out with wins at Atlanta, at Green Bay, and then that really weird 9-0 to game at Carolina. So went into the game last week knowing that Baker was a little bit banged up, and he played great. It was playoff time. You know, no excuses. You're not holding anything back, and I think we saw the best of Baker Mayfield. We did not see the best of Mike Evans. I doubt he has those kind of drops two weeks in a row. So we got two teams playing with a lot of confidence here. So what do we do? I love Tampa Bay getting the points. And if you can find a book that has the full seven points, I would grab that one. What concerns me about the Lions is how they've looked after the bye week against good teams. Their defense has really, really started to, to fall off here. And if you're looking at some of the uh, stats here on defense, their team opponent yards per play uh, they ended the year giving up 5.6. That was good for 27th in the NFL. And then the last three games, they've given up 6.7 yards per play. That has steadily gotten worse. They are one of the worst pass defenses in the league. Look at some of the quarterbacks that they've just played. Nick Mullins almost had 400 yards against them. Dak had a big game in the regular season. Uh, and and, and uh, they just, uh, uh, Stafford was the other one, 367 yards last week. They give up a ton of yards through the air. And you look at it, they won last week, but it was only by one point. And let's take a look at the bye week for Detroit after that. Who are the playoff teams that they played? Well, they played Green Bay. They lost 29-22. And they played Dallas, and they lost 20-19. to 19. I know there was all that weird uh, stuff at the end with the two-point conversion, and they still, uh, you know, they still end up losing that game. So the other opponents that they played since the bye week, the Chargers, out of the playoffs. Chicago, uh, top pick. New Orleans, not very good. Chicago, again, they lose that one. And then they play Denver and Minnesota twice. So not a stacked, uh, not exactly a stacked, uh, a lineup there for teams that they played and they struggled against the playoff teams. Now, last week I thought they played good, but I think you're getting a Tampa Bay team that is getting a full touchdown and has no pressure on them whatsoever. They're playing free. And this is a defense that I think is slightly better than the lions defense. I think the lions have a little bit, few more playmakers on offense, but only putting up 24 points against the Rams was not exactly a huge offensive explosion. They look good early, but the Rams made adjustments. I think you could see something similar here. So I think the Lions win a close one, but as far as laying a big number on Detroit, I just can't do it with the with their, their lack of performance against some of these good teams and not being able to cover the spread. Tampa Bay's shown that they can do well on the road. I think they have another good performance here on the road, so I will be happy to take the Buccaneers plus the seven 
If you can find six and a half, if that's the best you can do, I would be fine with that as well, but make sure you're line shopping. So don't forget, guys, I have a best bet that is up at Wager Talk right now. We ended the regular season 44 and 25 in the NFL. Super, super proud of that record. 2024 is off to a great start. We're already up 15 units on the year, and we ended 2023 up 91 units. That's 91% added to your bankroll over the course of the year, and we expect more profits this weekend. So join me in that play. That is on wagertalk.com. Good luck on all your plays. Let's cash on the Buccaneers plus the points. We'll see you in our next video.